this is learning Java technology. Yes, up to this is Java technology. Up to whoops concept Java technology. Just learning Java technology. Next, real time starts. So how to use Java in real time? So we have done different kind of things like, like how to yes, manage things. String, next string buffer, string buffer, yes, string, yes, string, string builder, string builder, next string tokenizer, string, tokenizer, tokenizer, string tokenizer, these things here. These are very, very important real time projects. Yes, here, actual real time projects will be starting from these honors here. Up to this learning Java technology. Yes, how to use that technology, Java technology in real time. So, actual Java, a real time implementation start from this string, string buffer, string builder, string tokenizer. Okay. Yes, after finishing this, next is yes, data conversion topic. Data conversion. Data conversion means like a, something like a typecasting, like integer to float, float integer, like typecasting. Next is classes and data conversion between classes like parent class, child class, parent to child, child to parent. So these things. Okay. Data conversion. Yes, after data conversion, yes, next topic. Yes, exceptional handling, exception, exception handling. This is most important exception handling. How to handle exceptions in Java? Exactly what is exception? Exception means, exception means abnormal termination. Suddenly terminating application. Suddenly terminating application is exception. Exception means abnormal termination. Suddenly terminating your application. Suppose Java application trying to connect some database, but network is down, application fails. Network is down, application fails, suddenly terminating. Yes, how to handle that? Network failures, how to handle that here? That kind of access, the database failures, how to handle that here? So if any situation, any situation, anything fails here, application terminating abnormally here. So how to handle that? Yes, abnormal termination is exception. How to handle that? Suppose sometimes getting something like divide by zero. Suppose, for example, 10 by zero may be getting divide by zero means infinite value. That value is not known. So this is unknown values. If unknown instruction comes, then application terminating abnormally. That is nothing but exception. Exception is a abnormal termination. Suddenly stopping application. Okay. Suppose, for example, there is a banking application. Some transaction is going on. Suppose debited credit transactions going on. While transaction is going on, suddenly application terminated abnormally. What happens here? Loss of transaction. Transaction, yes, see, for it looks like a transaction success, but amount may not be deposited into your account, right? That case here, that scenario, displaying one message, server in busy, network in busy, please submit again, that kind of message, okay? Yes, that, that kind of things is nothing but exception handling. So that facility available in Java, that kind of facility available. Java provides exception handling features. Exception handling. Okay, after finishing exception handling here, next collections. Most important is collections in Java here. Collections. So what is exactly collections here? One second. I'll tell you one scenario. Collections. Collections, nothing but collections, just a temporary memory to store some huge amount of data some data one second yes i'll tell you one scenario suppose yes your mobile let us say your mobile or your, your desktop so this is browser browser yeah this is your browser maybe from your desktop browser some login details yes submitting some login details here login details login login right yes login details Login, login form. Here maybe user ID, user ID, next password. Submit user ID, pass that information. Right? Once submitted here, now this, this data simply goes to application, maybe some application. Yes, application, that app maybe, yes, that app maybe your Gmail app or Facebook app, maybe your college, your college site, application. Okay, so it's simply your login details, all that login details. All that login details simply goes to application, right? Application. Now this application, some program. In this some program here, that application program. 
has to connect to database. One second. Yes, here there is a database. Yes, here there is a database. Simply web applications like the database. Even login details, your login details simply post it to application. Application has to connect database or checking for user ID password in this validating, 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 right? Suppose if it is valid, response getting here. That response simply delivered to yes, delivered back to your edge. So if you have successful login, otherwise login failed, invalid login. Okay, so your data simply goes to application. Application has to connect database, checking database, right? See every time of login, connect to database. Time taken. Connect to database and fetching data and validating time taken. Yes, instead of this connect database here. At the time of starting application itself, at the time of starting application itself here, yes, all the data, what are data here, all this data fetching the application here, the data fetching the application, data sorry. Suppose there are 10,000 records, all the 10,000 records fetching this application here, 10,000 records fetching into application here, not 10,000 10, records here, here 10,000 records, okay, here some 10,000 records, some 10,000 records here. All the records fetching into application. Now it's all the records are available. Records. Now records are available. Right? Records are available. User records. All the records. Okay. Now once login request comes, login request comes here. This application searching inside of this only, not to database. Need not to connect database. Not necessary. Every time not necessary here. Okay. So just to log in. Check in this in this only here. Yes, if it is fine, response from this only here. So need not to connect database. That gives you more performance. Then how to store these records? Temporarily store these records here. Collections. This is collection. Collection components is a way to store records temporarily in our application. Application maintaining some records temporarily for the collections. Collections. Using collection component, you can maintain this. Okay. Collections. Various kind of collections. It's nothing but somewhat like a data circus, like a C language data circus concept. This is. Data sectors in C language like a single linked list, double linked list, stack, queues, and trees, right? Same concept here also available. Collections, data sectors. Okay, like, like uh, list components, next queue components. Okay, next map components here. So list queue, map. Yes, different kind of components here. In this list, different type of list components like array list, next linked list, next stack. Q, next vector, different kind of things. Yes, Q components, double ended Q, single ended Q, something like this. Maps, hash map, hash tree, like this. There are different kind of things here. All the collection, yes, depends on requirements. Again, is different kind of collection component. That depends on requirements. Depends on requirements, depends on data. Sometimes structured data, some collection components. Unstructured data, some other components. Structured data, unstructured data, semi structured data. But if it is structured data, some collection components are recommended. Next, unstructured data, some other components are recommended here. Semi structured data, some other components. So, depends on data, we have to decide it. We have to decide it here. Okay, right? So, collection components. A soft finishing collections here. Next, fifth one, IVS teams. Yes, IVS teams. IVS teams. It's IVS teams. Hive systems, nothing but say file handling, just a file handling. Yes, file, this is most important file handling. In real time, you have to handle different kind of files here. It's a file handling. It's a file handling. See various files like text files. Real-time project. 